Hey guys, Chris here and today I'm going to show you how you download, install and set up a SDK server. So before you actually begin messing with the server, you want to make sure that you actually have installed the client side of uh, the mod correctly. So this can easily be done by trying to craft a weapon that is within the mod and see if you actually get the gun. Once you downloaded the mod correctly, you want to download a clean Minecraft server. And remember guys, you want the .jar file and not the program file. Put the server file in an empty folder and launch it. Let the server generate the world to 100% to make sure that everything is working properly. When the server is finished generating, it will have created lots of new files in your server folder. Now you want to go to the SDK thread, link will be in the description, to download the SDK server files. And I actually noticed while making this video that Scotty has released an alpha test of version 6, but I suggest using version 5 until there is a server side released for version 6. Now you want to drag and drop the SDK files and drop them into the minecraft underscore server file using WinRAR. Unlike the client mods, you don't need to delete the meta inf folder. The two properties files you get in the download, you place in the root of your folder. The property files can be opened in notepad and use them to configure the settings of the server to your own liking. I hope this tutorial helped you and remember guys, comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.